people who dealt with my crabby moods, um, who never lost faith in me, who supported me through all the downs, uh, never doubted me, um, and always believed in me. Um, you know, without those people, I would not be here, and I wouldn't be a world champion. Michael, can you finish your sentence for me? I felt Hayward Magic win. I walked on traffic. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, in world champion, do you have a celebration dance in your in in the in the yeah, I, I do not, not but I see Come celebration up. food right there. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Appreciate that. Sorry, Thank just you. very quickly, how did just sum up your mood right now, world champion? What does that feel to you? Uh it's it's an amazing feeling for sure. Uh, this is a first for me and I just I'm going to use this right here as a reminder of all the hard work and the dedication it takes to be a world champion. So I'm just going to always remember this moment and uh, continue pushing. And, sorry, do you, do you want to? We need a singlet update. Size small, did it hold up? Yeah, it held up. <laughs> but I don't know, I might have to go back to a medium though. I know it's getting a little tight. <laughs> Gym's paying off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But catch me uh, in January. I'm about to be peak heavy, peak swole. So um, maybe you'll see something, I don't know, something yeah. crazy. Can you talk us a bit to the race? Through the race? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I think execution of the race for everybody just kind of went out the window. And everybody just sent it. That's literally what it felt like. Like, there was no game plan or anything like that. Everybody just, when the gun went off, everybody just went for it. That's what it felt like to me, at least. So 100 to go, you feel pressure? Or? I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, the last 100 was uh, a very close race between Karani and uh, Matthew Hudson. So it was, it was just uh, a great feeling just to come off the turn and just power on home. So... What did Quincy say? I think he was just, he didn't really say much. He was just very happy for the moment. So I haven't really uh, had a moment to talk to him yet. So I'll probably talk to him later today. And uh, we'll just continue. What did Rye say to you? Uh, he was just, again, he didn't really say much. He was just <laughs> excited for me. You know, only he can relate and understand, you know, the ups and downs uh, we've been through um, training and, and whatnot. You know, he, he, he probably is the only one, besides my coach, that knows everything that goes on in my life. So, uh, you know, I think he was just as happy for me as I was happy for myself. So, you know. Just straight, straight afterwards, we obviously saw Sydney obliterate that world record. Did you see that at all? And do you have a comment on that? I saw the last 50 of it, and I was shocked. That was crazy. <laughs> I was like, 50? 50? Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, you know, that was a huge congrats to her. She deserves every moment of that. She's a great competitor and a great athlete. So. Has it finally dawned on you, the achievement you've had? Excuse me, can you repeat that? Have you, has it finally dawned on you, the achievement of tonight? Uh, no, I think it's still kind of sinking in on me, but, you know, uh, just going to look at this and use this as a reminder of the hard work. So, you know, the work's not done yet, and uh, I still have more of a season to go. What's next for you? I'm not sure. got to ask this guy right here. <laughs> 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 what like you um I was talking to Watts this morning and he was like super super nervous for yeah. you and just like he doesn't even know what right because it just leaves in it's up to you to like run. Yeah. But can you talk to me about the relationship that you have with Coach Watts and you know, the ways that he supports you? Yeah yeah yeah. Coach Watts, you know, has done everything that I wanna do, so I have hundred percent trust and faith in anything he has to say to me. Uh, we have a pretty good relationship, you know. If he tells me to do something, yeah, I'm gonna do it to my best ability because you know, I've, again, I have 100% faith in him, and then uh, we just have a great dialogue of communication between each other. Um, you know, we've been working with each other since I was a freshman in college, and uh, you know, he's taken me from you know a young high schooler to now a world champion, and uh, it's, it's just been a great experience. You know, he's been with me through my lowest of lows and my highest of highs now, so it's just uh, a great relationship between me and him, especially uh, my athletic trainer too. You know, he's he's been through it all too. Well, you've done a little. I mean, you won Olympic gold, but you have world championship gold. He hasn't done that yet, so you gotta you gotta get the Olympic, and you know. So, but um, also just talk to me about representing the United States on the world stage. You've done it year after year, but now it's like you're at the top of the pool. Yeah, you know, it's just an amazing feeling. You know, Team USA is the hardest team to make in the world. Um, just to get here is, is a journey itself. So, you know, I'm just really happy to and proud to put the Team USA jersey on, you know, the sweats, the podium, everything, just the support. The USATS staff is just second to none, and I'm just really happy to represent, and I, I can't thank them enough because, you know, they really take great care of us, and it's been uh, an amazing experience here. In Thank you. Thank you.